a little update. Today is Sunday. I had a good first night. Um, I woke up in the middle of the night and didn't know where I was. But apart from that, it was a good night. And then we got up quite early. Ryan got up earlier than me and started cleaning the kitchen. He went to the gym first, then he started cleaning the kitchen and that's all we've been doing today. We've got a lot of boxes unpacked so far. Ryan seems to think he thought we would be a lot further on than we are, but I'm quite pleased with the progress we've made and it's only two o'clock so we've still got all night to do it so yeah. But I would show you around, see what we've done so far. Last night, as you will have seen, it was an absolute riot. So it's a lot better than it was. So just now Ryan is away to his old house, his mum and dad's house, to get a fridge. And his dad and him are coming back with it in a second. Uh, luckily they only live around the corner so it's really handy to have them close by. Ryan's sister and her partner, they came and saw it with their dog and they really liked the house and one of Ryan's auntie and uncles from England came up and saw it as well and they really liked it too so everybody seems to like the house I'm really pleased with how it's coming together so far I'm glad my mum got my bedroom done because it was nice to you know after you're tired just go to a nicely made up bed and not have to worry about sorting all that after the moving process so Ryan's moved the table in there just now. We're not 100% sure where we're putting it just yet, but he's gonna have to move the tumble dryer over there and the fridge is going here. We've got two bread bins, so I'll need to get rid of one. That's my butter there. That'll go in the fridge when it comes. Same with my garlic pizza. That's to go in the fridge. I was just organizing these um, to go in the snack cupboard. Still organising. Ryan just put these in for now. There's the tins of beans and crisps and things like that. So I'm going to put our snacks in these little tubs. Got them from Lidl. They came in a two pack. I've got two more here. I was just looking for a price. I don't think I've got a price on them. But that will go in that cupboard. So we've got Ryan's snacks, my snacks. I told you yesterday I would show you the care package that Nationwide sent us. They gave us this, which I can't have because it's I think it's got chicken in it as well as being egg noodles. Yep. Egg, chicken, yeah. So Ryan will have that. A lot of this stuff I can't have, but it was a nice gesture. So they've gave us cheese, mini cheese oat cakes. They gave us this sweet popcorn, so I'm allowed to have this, so that's good. Uh, what else? They gave us tea. There was this little flash kit that's got some dishwasher tablets, just like kitchen spray or something like that. One of these, linen fresh disinfectant. There's a little voucher for the noodle pots, some little packets of sugar. Yeah, just normal things to get you started. It was really nice of them to do that. Oh, I think they gave us kitchen roll as well. It's down here. Yeah, that kitchen roll and toilet roll as well. So yeah, that was nice of them. Uh, I think, do you want... I'm asking, do you want to see the cupboards as if you can answer me right now? I'm going to show you the cupboards to see what we've done. It's all not final yet. We're just testing it out, seeing what would look good. So I'll turn you guys around and show you that. In this cupboard is all of our cleaning supplies. A lot of this is my mum's that were given back, but she just took it round um, when we first moved in. And we've got a little cleaning caddy. This is going to be my baking cupboard. It's a bit annoying that there's not another shelf here, but I think we're going to see if we can get something to build on top of it so that we'll have like two bits here because we're losing a lot of space otherwise, but I've got some of my cups. Oh, there's the tea that they gave us. We don't really drink tea or coffee, so it'll just be for guests. Our little champagne glasses. 
And then in this cupboard, we've got far too many glasses. We're going to need to organise it and decide what we're keeping. But um, Ryan did an auction site type thing where he got a really good deal on like houseware things and it all came with random stuff. So there's loads of these little glasses and these more of them. I got these at Tesco the other day. That's my one. And that's Ryan's one. I just really like them. And they were only like one pound, one fifty maybe. And then on this cupboard, that's all the wine glasses for a couple that don't drink wine. But we're also going to need to organise that. This cupboard has just got kitchen rolls. Possibly where Ryan's shakers for his protein powders going in. Not too sure yet. These drawers, we've just got, my granny bought us this little insert. Don't have the cutlery in here yet. Next drawer, this is for our bigger utensils. And then the bottom drawer, that's got dish towels, cloths, little pegs for like your bags of crisps when you're finished. I don't think I've showed you this cupboard. That's just got some random condiments. Nothing in that yet. This cupboard's got some lock and lock boxes for like lunches and storing food in the fridge. Up here we've just got plates. This cupboard is more plates. Uh, did I show you this cupboard? No. Pots. So when I was saying about Ryan's auction site type thing, he got all these pots and it was like £40. And there was even more, but some of them were damaged. My mum got us a Joseph Joseph chopping board set. The last cupboard, I think is a waffle maker and a steamer. My mum bought us that for Christmas so I'll need to put that in a cupboard, a ninja blender. Ryan moved the couches over here. That unit is a filing cabinet, we're putting that upstairs at some point. That's Ryan's poker table so we'll need to find somewhere to store that. This is all my boxes, just more organising. Don't think anything's changed out here. We've got two more blooming bread bins from that auction that we're going to have to get rid of, give away. I don't think anything here's changed. I need to hang that up either here or the, or the living room. Ryan just put it there just now. And then I've also, I got these, I got that from Wilco. I got these from Wilco as well. That's just a cute wee sign. I might put that in my beauty room, I'm not sure yet. But I've got this key holder that's got a little chalkboard on it as well. We put this thing up, that might be temporary, I'm not sure yet. I wanted to get the soap dispensers or for like shampoo and body wash and put them up here. Like I've got at my own, my mum and my own house I was going to say, my mum and dad's house. But for now it's doing fine. Oh, I put in little cotton buds in there, I thought that was cute and it's just the right size. I think the progress is going pretty well. We're wanting to focus on the kitchen because obviously that's the first place people come when they visit. I will update you later on if anything's changed. I'm just putting this reed diffuser up that Ryan's mum got me for Christmas. It's luscious sugar plum. I'm not sure where it's from, but I thought I would test it out, make the living room smell nice. I've just had garlic pizza for dinner and I ended up burning it a little bit because the oven's not got any numbers on the dials. We might need a new oven because of that. We take this inner cap off but I'm struggling. Ryan is playing football up at his work. He works in a gym by the way and he will be back later on and then we're going to get some dinner because my garlic pizza was burnt and I couldn't enjoy it and he didn't have enough time to eat before he had to leave so since I last spoke with you guys Ryan's grandma and granda have came with their little dog Tilda we went to screw fix because we're trying to fit the washing machine we got the wrong thing because we were meant to get an attachment this is so annoying I'm going to get scissors two minutes stole these from my mum, how cute are they? It says snip snip. <laughs> um, so yeah, the washing machine. We are meant to get an attachment for it because the pipe, something to do with the pipe not fitting. But they didn't know what we were talking about and we didn't really know what we were talking about either. So 
ended up getting the wrong thing. So Ryan's dad's gonna go tomorrow and do that for us since we're a bit useless. <laughs> Same with the gas and electric. It is one of those meters. My head's cut off, sorry. One of those meters that you just top up with a card at the shop. I thought that was old fashioned, but apparently people still do it. We both didn't have a clue how to do that because we've never had a house before and anyone we know has always just had like the monthly direct debits come out of their account so that was new and the company won't change it for a month so we're stuck having to top up our gas and electricity so I'm very wary of how much we're spending but I have had to put the heating on just a minute ago because I am freezing. The little reed diffuser all sorted. See how it's got a drum clean? I was going to do that because Ryan's dad said it's fine to use but I would have to keep the waste hose down the sink and hold it in place. I might as well give it a try. I'm a bit concerned doing it without Ryan here just in case we have a flood but fingers crossed. That was Ryan's mum and dad's fridge before they got a new kitchen and so we've cleaned it all out because it's been sitting in the garage for a few months. Still to finish it. Ryan was putting um, this stuff on it. It's really good. Works. Recommend. <laughs> well, I'll update you if I manage to flood the house. Well, I am such an idiot. I just realised I was holding these up. Dishwasher tablets. Not washing machine tablets. And the door won't open, so I've got a dishwasher tablet in the washing machine. Um, so not a great start. I think I'm just going to wait until Ryan gets home. We've just had Chinese for dinner and we were watching Fantastic Beasts. But we'll pause the movie just to get cracking on with some more cleaning and organising. We've managed to work the washing machine. It wasn't working because the tap under the sink wasn't switched on. And we've just chopped the dishwasher tablet in just to give it a clean. And also realised when I was cleaning out the fridge I've wasted my leggings. I don't know if you can see. There's a red mark there. And then it was all there. And I was like, oh I've wasted my leggings. And then and then Ryan was like, look at the back of your legs and I've got a massive bleach mark. I've got a massive bleach mark there. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that off or not. I'm really sad if I can because they're quite expensive. 